to a Philly coffee shop where every cup of joe you buy helps a young person in need. The Monkey and the Elephant employs and supports former foster kids. The nonprofit shop is having a fundraiser next month, and so we decided to bring in a team to tell us a little bit about it. Board President April Perry McKellar and board member Shar Nolan, social media friends and family. How are both of you doing? Good, good. Happy to be here. Appreciate well, uh, I am like your best friend on social media. One hundred percent, and go. now expanding it out. So exactly. I appreciate you taking the time. I actually have, have been there, so I went there, mm -hmm. experienced the coffee shop. Great place. Uh, but where did the name Monkey and the Elephant come from? Uh, okay, I'll take a stab at that. <laughs> so our founder, um, Lisa, um, I guess at some point in her life, had traveled to Africa and had met um, someone that she kept in touch with. Um, even when she came back to the States, they would still speak and she would help them. Um, and so basically the monkey and the elephant were their code words to let each other know that it was a safe space for them to speak freely. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, interesting. What is, what's the goal of the organization? Well, the goal of the organization, as we've shared, is to inspire young adults who have aged out of foster care and give them the opportunity to fill in some gaps in their own growth and development with uh, social service programming, uh, how to talk to people, how to manage your finances, how to look for an apartment, um, okay. how to apply to college. So uh, it's very varied. There are a myriad of uh, opportunities. And they work at, they work there. Yes. So I, I was there mm -hmm. uh, and saw people are basically running everything. So yes. it's getting real life experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, and our um, general manager of the coffee shop, Kayvon, actually at one point went, came through the program. Um, he went through the program, left, got some experience from other places, and then eventually came back and joined us as the general manager of this coffee shop. Success stories are people like coming in, they get that experience, and mm -hmm. then they they go out and do their own thing. Have either of you experienced those? You just talked about one. Well, I mean, Kayvon is amazing because as the manager, he's also an experienced baker and chef, and he creates his own original recipes for the in-house baked goods, um, which are better than I have had anywhere else. And, you know, you have a choice as a consumer. You can go to a commercial coffee shop and feed somebody's pocket, or you can come to the monkey and the elephant, and you can sort of see the benefits of what that cup of coffee can do. And some of that deliciousness is here, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in on that in, in okay. just a minute. Um, so you're having a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about the fundraiser. Well, the fundraiser is happening on uh, Saturday, May the 20th at Triple Bottom Brewery at 915 Spring Garden Boulevard. There is lot parking available. And uh, we'll have fabulous food. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a couple of free drinks. And um, we have a wonderful, wonderful raffle. We have procured businesses throughout the region uh, from Phillies tickets to Flyers tickets to original artwork to uh, a weekend in Lancaster, Pennsylvania at a beautiful bed and breakfast. And this is the second year we're doing this. Um, last year, <clears throat> it was definitely a hit. It sold out, and we even had people buying tickets at the door that were just uh, just coming to the brewery and saw what we were doing. It was a lot of fun. Um, we raffled off a lot of cool items, and so... Um, why is it so important that people understand the significance of this, of places like the monkey and the elephant, but also just the general need to be supportive of, of kind of the message that you're sharing? Um, I think that the the atmosphere in the state of the city is a prime example of why mm -hmm. people should support programs like this, mm -hmm. um, especially with all the violence around young people and stuff like this. This is a program that's really trying to prevent that in a way, really trying to help these people or our participants have a place of belonging, mm -hmm. have a safe place to work, and help them with whatever they need, whether it's housing, um, transportation, and things like that. So I think if you look around and you watch the news, yeah. you'll see exactly why you should support a program like the Monkey and the Elephant. Mm -hmm. We will be there. We'll be on board. How do people get tickets and support? Uh, they can go to uh, our Eventbrite website, uh, or they can call the cafe. It's also listed on all of our social media, MD uh, at Instagram. And the monkey and the elephant org. We'll have it embedded on the yeah, site as embedded. well. Yeah, it's embedded. And we will do you one better. There it is. There's the website. You can check it out. And we also will put it up on fox29.com, so you yes, can get I, the links through there. I can send you the... Um, QR code. I appreciate you. Thank you both for coming in. Thank you, Thank you for Bill. having us. Now I'm, 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 okay, you're going to eat. Okay.